Greetings, Yen. Good thing you're here. The frostbite was starting to set in. You should have dressed warmer. <laughs> Next you'll be pinning mittens to my coat. Can we go? Yeah. Quite a few uh, years since I was last weird. on Hindisfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. They barely sprouted whiskers. Yet in the grind they lie. And me, living and unharmed. <sighs> Perhaps twere written in the stars. Grass has grown over our loved ones' graves. But their memory lives on. We entrust them. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So... And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. Yes, she is. This, this Siri. Uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment. Right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him. Even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Morkvag? What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelliger. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. <clears throat> Know the type. They said he feared only one thing. The wrath of the gods. Borgvarg sought to prove how wrong they were. So he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can rid you of Morkvark. I can get rid of Morkvark. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvark, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand. My God, Gerd looks but fair. I told you all I know. Speak with Tordor. I wish like his beard iron. was a bit he more. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men thick. attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here, north. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. 
I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. Foreigners. So Custom demands pilgrims Apparently make an offering of their own blood the before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. What nonsense, honestly. That's a load of bullshit. I recognize your type a mile away. Okay, now what? Monster Slayer. My gram told me about you. Freya's guard. Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? My, my. That must be Morkvarg. What do you mean, I and F mm -hmm. FW? Might even call it Wolven. 